So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you two scenario based questions which were asked at Capgemini in the Power BI interview. And these two questions I have collected from one of my connections on LinkedIn. Okay. So I will discuss with you both the questions and the solutions. Okay. Okay. And before starting, if you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming videos. Okay. So let's start with the first question. So as you can see on the screen, the interviewer gave this data, this data, the, the highlighted portion. Okay. So as you can see here, we have a firewall name. We have first count, we have last count and we have hit count. Okay. So data was something like this. We have different firewall names, firewall one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see here, we have first count as one in the first record. In the second record, we have hit count as one. In the third record, we have all the uh, values as one in all the columns. In firewall four, in the fourth record, we have four as the last count. Okay, others are blank. And in the fifth record, we have fifth five as the hit count. Okay, so this is the data that was provided. Now he asked to calculate or create a column, a new column, which will give the result something like this, as you can see here. So for the first record, it, it should show me as one. For the second record, it should show me as one, which is the hit count. For the third record, it should show me one only. Even we have the last count and hit count also as one, then also we should get the result as one only. And in the fourth record, four, as you can see here. And in the fifth record, five. So how to create a column, something like this. Okay. So what should be the answer for this? So as you can see, whichever is the first non-blank value is what we are getting as the result in this column. See, this is the first non-blank value in this record, so one. This is the first non-blank value, so one. So this is the first non-blank value, so we are getting the result as one. Here, four, and here as five. So whatever is the first non-blank value in that record, give me that value. So this is what this column is. Now how to get or how to create this column? So I will go back to the Power BI desktop. I have loaded the same data set that I am there that I have in the Excel there. Okay. So first count, last count, hit count. So I will create a calculated column here. Okay. Let us do that quickly and see how we can do this. I hope many of you would have got the answer till now, or many of you might be knowing the answer, but still for those who don't know, uh, I am doing that. So, so I will write it as total count. So for this, we will make use of coalesce function. Okay. You might have heard this uh, function name in uh, SQL also. Okay. So the same function is used in Power BI also. So if, if I will use this function, it will directly give me the first non-blank value. And what is it? Syntax, it, you can see here, we, we just have to provide the column names. Which all column names, we have to consider it here. And then give me the first non-blank value for those particular columns that we have defined. So the first column is first count. So we'll just search for the name. Then the second column is the last count. So we'll search that. And the last one is the hit count. So we'll search for that. Close the bracket and let us see the result. See, the same result that we wanted, we are getting through this coalesce function. One, 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 four, five. So in this way, you have to answer this question. I hope it is clear to you now. It was pretty much simple. And if you have heard about this, or if you already know, then you will be able to answer it quickly in front of the interviewer. Okay. So this is the first question. Now let me take it to the second question. Okay. So as you can see over here, we have a different year slicer and we have total sales by years, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. So the question was, so if I select any particular year, okay. So what does this uh, bar chart shows? It shows me the sales of that particular year. Similarly for 2022, it will show me for 2022. But as you can see here on the title, we are only seeing the same value that is total sales by year. For any selection in the year slicer, we see the same name total sales by year, but it should be dynamic, right? So how to create this title dynamic? That was the question asked by the interviewer. If you select any particular year, how we can make it dynamic? So if I select 2020, for example, it should show me total sales in 2022. Similarly, if I select 2021, it should show me total sales in 2021. Okay. So how to do that? So for that, let us create a measure okay, and see how we can do that. So I will name, name it as a uh, dynamic title. Okay, so I will make use of uh, concatenation and one more function over here, 
before that let me write one text that is total sales in okay now give a space because we want a space after in also then concatenate it with selected value okay selected value make use of selected value function here this is a selected value function and uh, we will give the year slicer as a column name first argument okay now if i close the bracket over here and see the result now let us see what does the result comes out to be so total sales in the selected year okay now let me clear this filter and go to the title over here okay in the general title and i will make use of this function because we have to make use of a measure so select that measure that is dynamic title and click on okay now as you can see here it is showing us total sales in okay now if i select in particular year it will show me total sales in 2022 then total sales in 2021 so our result is correct but if i don't select anything let us see what does the result comes up to be it shows me total sales in so it should not be the right way of doing that right so it should show me total sales in all the years right if nothing is selected so for that we will just modify our measure and we will write the second argument in second uh, in selected value and that will be uh all years so if nothing is selected give me this let us see what does the result comes out to be see if i am selecting nothing it is showing me total sales in all years and if i selecting 2022 it will show me total sales in 2022 okay so this is what the interviewer asked for so through a measure we can create a dynamic title like this and this is what you have to, to tell in front of the interviewer so i hope if this question is repeated anywhere in any of the companies and if you have watched this video you will be able to answer it properly in front of the interviewer okay so that's it for this video i hope you got the solution of both the questions and so please do share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this so stay tuned and thank you